Hello everyone, Max here. Welcome back to another video. This time we're testing this M1 MacBook Air and how it performs with Parallels Windows 11. Uh, so yeah, let's just take a look at it. This is the base model. It has 8 gigabytes of RAM and just uh, 256 of storage. So not a lot. It's the base model. But I love how this computer looks like. It's so slim, so nice. Uh, I take it everywhere when I'm on a journey. I just take it, take it with me and it's just perfect. So here we go. We're on the macOS desktop. Now let's just launch the Parallels. So as you can see, I've got this here, Parallels desktop, already in the dock. And just like this, it's so simple. The Windows is now getting started, resuming. And here we are, I've got all my clips and different files on the desktop imported from the macOS, so it's so simple, so easy and so particularly convenient for me to just switch between the OS's grams, even on the different uh, operating systems. So that's really pleasing. Uh, as you can see, I've got a lot of apps installed here on the Windows, like OBS and so, and the other ones. But maybe, first of all, let's take a look at the web browsing. So let's take a look at the web browsing, let's see how it works like. Uh, as you can see, it loads up the page, um, the edge, automatically. Um, there's no problem with it. There are no delays when it comes to loading a program such as the edge. It just boots up automatically. Let's go to the YouTube. And as you can see, it's so easy to just consume the content on the Mac, even while running the Windows. Uh, you can just enlarge the screen to make this thing look like it's running the Windows, like it was installed, so it's so nice. All the gestures uh, work, as you can see. I'm scrolling now and it works so fluently, even on the base one M1 MacBook Air. No problems about it. Maybe let's open a video. So the speakers work as they should, as they are working on a Mac, so no problems about it. The resolution is nice, it's native resolution, so looks great. Let's take a look at the function keys, such as this one. Uh, actually, it works. Play button also works. Everything works. It's great. Now let's try launching a different app. So as you can see in the Magic Meek, I my phone uh, works particularly good with Windows. So, so that's why I installed this app on Windows. You also do have much more functions here on Windows, so that's nice. This is the test of the microphone phone on the M1 MacBook Air running Windows. Let me know how you hear me. Yes, so as you can see, everything works, the microphone works, everything works. No issues about that. The system is really responsive, there's no delay or anything like this. Browsing the web doesn't seem like it's a problem for the smart running the windows. It's just as good as the normal Windows laptop, to be honest with you. Easily you can switch between the systems. We, now we are on a Mac OS and now we are on a Windows, so that's so nice. It's just a swipe of the trackpad and you can just switch between different systems. It's, it's, it's great, I love it. So that's it guys, the Steam works. As you can see, you can download, download any game that you want because it's just a normal Windows running it, so no problems about it. Uh, I'm not going to test any of the games now because I don't have a lot of storage on my Mac, but uh, you can do this. You can just download some games that you want to play on your Mac and there shouldn't be a problem with running them. So I highly recommend you guys checking this thing out. 
and uh, the performance should be fine although there's a little bit of a decrease of course when it comes to the mac os itself and the m1 processor so don't expect this thing to run at 120 or 200 fps but okay that's enough for today's video i hope you like this uh, parallels is a great feature for running different windows apps you know if you have anything to just test out or to just use for your work and the app is just running on the windows only so parallel seems like a great option thank you so much and see you in next video bye